Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of computing a probability involving a linear combination of normal random variables. Let's suppose that x and y are independent, normal, random variables. whose mean are 0, and whose standard deviation is equal to 1. Let's find the probability that x plus 2y is bigger than or equal to 3. So for this problem, we need the following fact. So if if x and y are normal, and let's say that x, we use this notation, is normal with mean x and standard deviation sigma x, and y is normal with mean y and standard deviation sigma y, then this implies that a x plus b times y is normal with which parameters? So the parameters of this will be a mu x plus b mu y, just a linear combination of the means. And then the standard deviation will be the square root of a squared sigma x squared plus b squared sigma y squared. So in our problem, note that x plus 2y will be normally distributed. Since both of the means are equal to 0, the mean of the sum, the 0 from this and the 0 from this, will give me a mean of 0. And they both have standard deviations 1, so we see the standard deviation of this sum will be 1 squared, from that coefficient, times 1 squared, plus 2 squared times 1 squared. And just as a note, oftentimes in books you'll see this written without the square root sign. I've written this with a standard deviation. So this is normal with mean 0 and standard deviation 1 plus 4, or root 5. And so what we need to do now is we need to say that the probability that x plus 2y is bigger than or equal to 3 is the same thing as the probability that x plus 2y over the square root of 5 is bigger than or equal to 3 over the square root of 5. And now this variable over here is a normal 0, 1 random variable. And so we can write this as 1 minus phi of 3 over the square root of 5, where phi of x is the CDF of a random normal variable, 1 over the square root of 2 pi, the integral from negative infinity up to x of e to the negative t squared over 2 dt. And so this over here is our final answer, and this can be tabulated from a normal random variable CDF table or from a computer or from a calculator. So whenever we're given a random, when we're ever given two random variables that are independent and normally distributed, if you take a linear combination of them, the means is the ordinary linear combination. Then the variance or the standard deviation is found by a linear combination in terms of squaring them. Thank you very much.